Hey, y'all, what's going on? Today, we're going to go over some cheese Danish rolls, King Hawaiian style. Now, this is a simple and easy recipe. You can use the microwave, but I love to use the double boiler method because it comes out better to me. So here it is. I use sugar. I use cream cheese. That is it. Those are the ingredients. Now, if you use the microwave, that, that cream cheese can boil. But the double boiler method, I can watch that cream cheese and I can blend it in together. I love to add a little bit of butter in mine and it gives it a little bit of a sheen too to the dish. Go ahead and whisk that up. Take your time. This video is sped up. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. So we want to show you how it looks. So this is what it's coming to right here. We're taking our time though. We're whisking it up and you see how it turns out. You see it's not boiling, it's not sticking. Now I used a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. The brand doesn't matter, but this is what I had in my cabinet. So this is what I use. I, I love it. It turns out phenomenal. I love this brand. You know, I'm a chef by trade. It's what I do for a living. So take your time though, when you go through this process, okay? It's a beautiful, beautiful dish that you can make. Get that whisked up in there real good, okay? We're gonna do it up, sped up a little bit, get it whisked in there real good. Now you see how it looks. You can see the sheen of it. It's not because of the, of the lighting or anything like that. That's truly because of the butter. That butter adds a little bit of a sheen to the dish. Now you wanna make sure it's whisked real good, good consistency, not too thick, not too thin. You want it just right. So I took my time. I would say the total amount of time was about maybe seven minutes. So I didn't have any parchment paper, I had foil. So I sprayed some prep or some Pam or some cooking spray on top of it. And so what I'm doing, I'm taking my knife now and going around all the edges of the dish, of the well, of the rolls. I'm going around all the edges of the rolls. And then we're gonna go ahead and pluck them out as well too. You cut them through all the edges and you pluck them out. That's the best method to do it. Well, this is the way I chose to do it. You actually could just leave it here and you can just tear the tops off. Some people tear the tops off. They just rip the tops right off. You can do it that way, but I chose not to. I chose to go ahead and cut the tops off because I had another purpose for the tops. So this is how it was looking. It's a simple dish. Now here comes the fun part. Yes, 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 indeed. This is how that cream cheese came out using the double boiler method. I just think it was marvelous. I didn't add any egg. There was no need to add egg into this dish. No need at all to add egg into it. Oh yes. And also what I did, I baked this dish. I had the oven working already. The oven was set at 350. And I left this in the oven at 350 for about seven to 10 minutes. And also I used some butter and I took the butter and I went around the edges of the rolls and I sprinkled some more sugar around the edges of the rolls too as well, of course. And this is something you can make at your home yourself. Think about this. You know what goes in this dish, but when you buy this dish, do you truly know what they have put in it? But when you make it yourself, you know what's in it. This is what I did with the leftover bread pieces that I cut off right here. I formed borders, edges to put in between so I can have separation in between and I can have areas to where I can slice. And this is how it turns out after you bake it. And those are the borders or edges that I made from this dish. It's simple. You can make it at home yourself. It's healthier when you make it at home yourself. Check out more videos. They'll be coming soon. But I am so busy as a chef, I don't have that much time to make the videos like I want to. But I am going to commit to making more videos. I promise you that. See you all soon on the other side.